guys welcome to another beautiful tutorial and today we will learn how to design this beautiful and glossy and animating slide i hope you will really love it so please subscribe to our channel and join the membership and we will learn how to design this so let's begin with the tutorial so let's begin with the background first so we need a uh, gray colored background so light gray color would be good here and then let's start with the main component of this slide which is this circle let's place it at the center and as always we don't need its outline so remove its outline and we're gonna fill the gradient here a uh, linear gradient we can try and on the first gradient stop let's fill this vibrant blue color so, so we are following a blue theme here from light or vibrant to dark blue and this will give it a very glossy and very reflecting look. So on the second gradient stop we also we have filled this vibrant blue again on the third slightly darker tone of the blue and on the last stop we have gone totally dark now I have moved the, sl uh, the sliders in the middle to the left let's duplicate this circle slightly reduce or let's increase its height and width and send to back and for this outer circle we need to change the gradient here so that we can easily see it and it should be different from the circle on the top so here we are following slightly dark blue and purple kind of theme here now again duplicate it and we want to create a custom shape here and for that let's insert this circle here and place it like this go to edit points and here you need to slightly add some curves by using edit points and these anchor points so this is a glass reflection that we are trying to create and we need a custom shape here and now select both the shapes and click on intersect and you will get a shape like this and just align it with the background circle and fill the gradient color and we will fill white color on both the gradient stops just follow a top to bottom direction linear direction for the gradient and fill white color So on the bottom part of the gradient the transparency should be high on the top part it should be slightly in the middle so here you can move the sliders in and there to get the perfect look you want it's too bright slightly increase the transparency so you can always check and see whatever looks good always keep on improvising So here it looks fine again duplicate rotate vertically flip horizontally and place the second copy here so now these two custom shapes are in place and for this shape let's slightly change the transparency level on the first and second gradient stop it should be slightly different from the shape at the top so I have also changed the gradient flow on the circle as well so I'm just trying to make it look perfect 
and this is looking much much better now again duplicate the circle and create a second circle like this and place it like this select both the shapes click on intersect and place it here on the left side and here again we need to fill white color on both the gradient stops and again you have to play with the transparency to get this glossy effect the rule is simple on one of the gradient stops you have to keep the white less visible the transparency should be high on the second one it should be around 50 percent and then you can move the sliders and see whatever looks good now again duplicate this shape and create one more copy Select, uh, I mean change the color so that you can see it and let's create this shape click on subtract and click solid fill white sorry black and place it here increase the transparency like this So friends if you haven't subscribed to our channel please do that this will really you know bring smiles to our face and and like it if you can just duplicate it flip it vertically and place the second copy here i think we should also test it with white color as well see how it looks This gives a very nice look here. I think it is done. Select all the items, group, and the main component of your webs. I mean, this slide is ready. Now, again, create a circle and place it at the center. It should be slightly bigger than the shape that we have created. Fill white, send to back. So, this is the base of the shape that we have created apply shadow effect increase the blurness and the transparency as well now add uh, this i mean this shape this pie looking shape center back because we we are creating you know a chart here so this is like a very beautiful pie chart that you can create out of it and fill the gradient color and it should you know match with the overall theme this blue dark blue and this purplish theme add blurness slightly reduce the size and and this looks much better then again you have to experiment here with the gradient and move the sliders I tried to add this green but doesn't look okay so let's go with this dark blue this looks much better I'm still not happy with the edges here the edges of this pie should be rounded but let's see what we can do let's first finish the design Place this second circle and send to back. Line center, align middle. So here we go. So this looks fine here. Slightly increase the transparency. Now again duplicate it. Increase its size. Make it like massive. And further increase its transparency center back align center middle so keep the transparency in check don't make it too transparent 
because we want to create a third circle as well and make it much more i mean big align middle and send to back and further increase the transparency now let's view it in a full screen mode and then i have added this text so i have skipped the part where i have added text you know how to fill the text you need to insert the text box so this is the homework you can do you can add text in the way you want so also you can move this pie and create you know you can change the percentage you can keep it like 50% 40% you can move this pie chart and you can also name it if you want for aesthetic purpose so this is how this, this is how you can beautify the text so now let's further adjust the transparency so we have selected the right layer okay go to shape options then adjust the transparency of this middle circle so the transparency levels should, should be like that all the three circles should be clearly visible so now we go to select all these three circles go to animation add animation grow and shrink go to animation pane make sure all the three are, are selected start with previous change the duration the duration for all the three circles should be different and should be above 3.5 seconds otherwise it will look too fast auto reverse go to timing repeat until end of the slide and now let's test it on the full screen and you can see it looks good and if everything is fine then we can then we can do this one last thing that uh, i need to make the edges rounded of this pie and for that we have this wonderful trick go to insert and pick this curve tool or arc yes this is the arc tool not curve and place it like this and you can you know create the circle by moving these yellow anchor points pick gradient here on the outline and fill the gradient color that we have filled on this pie chart so we have used these three or four colors and you can similarly fill these colors in the gradient and now increase the width and you will see the magic we need these round edges currently the edges are straight you need to change the dash type dash type and the cap type the cap type and join type so now you can see the edges are rounded but the width is too much let's reduce the width let's remove it and place this circle at the center slightly reduce the size and we need to send it to back and for that you can always use the selection pane slightly reduce the size here and also reduce the width And let's go to selection pane here and move this behind this group 27 and I think it should be behind this group 17 group 17 is our main circle the glossy circle so it should be behind this and I think the design is almost complete and then you can do some final checks you know make some final adjustments and this is the beautiful final output ready for you
so you can always use this slide and impress the audience so please subscribe to our channel join the membership hit like share with your friends and colleagues and we will see you guys in our next video please do not forget to download this from the cheat drive link provided in the video description